how to export animations in blender the right way hello guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can export animations in blender the right way so first of all you're gonna head over and open your blender and open the specific file that you wish to export and then you're gonna click on this over here and then you're gonna scroll down till you find the output option and then you got to click on this file over here and then select or create a new folder where you wish to, you know, save them. So I'm going to, you know, get head over to another disk over here. And then I'm going to click on this and create a new folder. For example, I'm going to type in Blender and then click on accept uh, or you got to click on enter. And then you got to double click on it and then you got to save the name for your file. For example, I'm going to write something like test and then click on accept over here. And then you can see that the output is being selected that is in D Blender test. And then you got to scroll down and then you got to select your file format in PNG. And then you got to compress it. I like it till 15%. And then you got to scroll down and you got to check this override. And then you got to head over here at the top left, click on render, and then you got to click on render animation. And then it's going to take a while to render. And once that's done, head over to this section. And now we'll compile those PNG frames into a single video file. So what you need to do is after the rendering is being done, you got to compile those PNG frames into a single video file. So you got to click add over here, go to file, and then you got to click on new, and then you got to add image sequences, and then you got to navigate to the folder where you saved the frames, and then you got to press A to select all, and then select add image strip. So you can set your preferred resolution, and you can set it 4K and choose a frame rate such as 30 FPS. And under the encoding section, I recommend setting the output quality to perceptually lossless to maintain visual fidelity so then you get to pick a save location for your video give it a name and make sure to adjust the end frame to match the final frame of your image sequence and then you got to hit render animation again to generate your final video so you might be wondering why we didn't just export straight to an mp4 from the start so first for superior quality rendering spng frames give you much higher visual quality than exporting directly to a compressed video format each frame is crisp and lossless and crash recovery if your computer crashes or blender closes mid-render you won't lose your entire progress you can just resume rendering from the last completed frame instead of starting over and with png sequences you have the freedom to convert them into various formats later such as mp4 move gif or whatever you need some more adaptable workflow having individual frames make it much easier to apply post-processing effects like color correction or frame by frame edits so to sum it up rendering your animation as pngs first gives you more control better quality easier recovery if something fails and far more flexibility when it comes to export options and composing so that's it for today's video if you found this guide helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials i'll see you in the next video